The town of Dundalk has sometimes gotten a bad rap, but it has a long, important history, and now there's a new homegrown movement that's all about Dundalk pride. So it was started by a guy named Logan Lambert. He's a roofer, but about a month ago, he wrote a rap song called Straight Out of Dundalk. He turned it into a video, and now the song and the video have taken off and turned into a campaign. I grew up in Dundalk, born and raised, and um, I've kind of built a following as the rapping roofer. Straight out of Dundalk, crazy guy named the rapping roofer. I've seen Pink Elephants and all their content, their Dundalk guys. If you're scared of driving on Dundalk Avenue. Mention Pink Elephants when you pass passing through, because we love Dundalk. You know, there's a lot of people that don't, but, but we love Dundalk and, and what the community's about. I'm always up and down Merritt Boulevard. I grab my ladder and jump up on your roof, and then I climb down and jump up in the booth. One roofer, two musicians out of the booth on the roof of the Boulevard Diner, the culinary heart of Dundalk. If you live here, you probably know it and maybe even him. You know me, born and raised in the dirty D. I think the song at this point, 240,000 views on Facebook. Straight out of Dundalk, straight out of Dundalk. So what made you decide to shoot from the roof of the, <laughs> the diner. The Boulevard Diner is in the middle of Dundalk. They've been around a long time. They're a staple to the community. The video is full of inside references to life in this eastern Baltimore County community, the flea market, and the now shuttered dog house. But I think all of Dundalk can agree that it was just, I mean, a staple for Dundalk. The food was incredible. We've been dying for a good bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich <laughs> since. Can't really find one. So this was like our spot. This was our spot, so it was taken away from us way too early. We said, you know what, Dundalk knows about that. Let's get up on the on dog house and represent for it. We miss the dog house, the best bacon, egg, and cheese, cactus, willies, Denny's, and Ames. Rest in peace. We put on for a city, put on for a city. We put on for a city, put on for a city, Dundalk. This is the halal food truck. This man here, he knows us, uh, and he's been hooking it up. That really is banging. Right now, I know, that's what I'm saying. It's a tribute, an anthem to life along the 43 miles of waterfront that make up the town of Dundalk. In the year 1916, Bethlehem Steel purchased 1,000 acres of land that eventually became a community made up of its workers and their families. My grandfather worked at, worked at Bethlehem Steel his entire life, uh, retired from Bethlehem Steel. Today, of course, the mill is gone, and the over 60,000 people living on the row house line streets have found other work. Logan's dad works here. The sewage treatment plant, known affectionately as the Golden Eggs. There's been a debate between Dundalk and Essex for years about who the Golden Eggs belong to. There are people in Dundalk that feel no, the Golden Eggs paint a, a bad picture of Dundalk, but no place on the planet has Golden Eggs like that. So you want the Golden Eggs to be part of Dundalk? We want the Golden yes, Eggs. We're claiming them Golden Eggs because because we want them. We think it's iconic. I mean, look at that. It's made of gold. Why the haters so ashamed? Have you had a lot of pushback? People saying, stop showing Dundalk in a bad light. Only a handful of people. Everyone else sees what's happening. And, and, and they love it. Yeah, the Dundalk Parade, the longest running 4th of July parade in Maryland, and the guys were in it this year singing, handing out t shirts. Now let me welcome y'all down to the dirty, dirty D, not a neighborhood you find where they never heard of me. Those straight out of Dundalk t shirts, they've turned into a fundraiser, already over 17 sponsors helping raise money for the local charity Soup for the Soul. Most of the memes and cliches are things about Dundalk that's derogatory. But there is a community here uh, for sure that is close knit. Sitting quietly inside the diner, Logan, the rap and roofer, opens up. Just five years ago, this funny, upbeat guy straight out of Dundalk was addicted to heroin at rock bottom. Five years ago, it was February 7, 2018, I planned on committing suicide and uh, cried out to God and had a radical encounter with him. And, got up off the floor and was a completely different person. So I never thought I'd be here uh, where I'm at today five years ago. But here he is. Here in Dundalk, all my friends are flight risk. You're the either gonna hate this or like this. Celebrating his work, his music, his quirky hometown. Because he is absolutely proud to be. Straight out of Dundalk. Straight out of Dundalk. Dundalk love, baby. 
All right, they've been selling these T-shirts. They've raised quite a bit of money. They have even more sponsors than mm -hmm. this now, and they're now making other jingles and commercials for local businesses. So this has really taken off for these and guys. The money's going to something very it's good. It's called Soup for the Soul. Mm -hmm. It feeds people in need in Dundalk, so they're giving back the community. And I think, by and large, it's a wonderful campaign to get people to be proud of where they live and the things that make Dundalk unique. It's one of these that makes Baltimore area so unique. So yeah, many neighborhoods go. are so proud of where they are. That's right. Yeah. That's why Wait. we're charming. And we love that diner. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs>